Greetings and welcome to the Fan Perspective. I'm your host Nathan Lyle here with another edition of WNBA Weekly. It's going to be a very short video. Uh, we only had one game over the weekend, which was the All-Star Game, West versus East. Uh, for the East, Ivory Ladder and Epiphany Prince led the way with 15 points each. Christy T and for the West, Christy Tolliver came off the bench to finish second with 21 points, while Rebecca Brunson also added a double-double. But Candace Parker led the way with an all-star record, 23 points, and also added 11 rebounds as she go on, goes on to win MVP, and the West wins 102-98. to there are only three games being played this week, one of them being broadcast nationally, so you should check that out. The others, you know, you check your local listings or you can watch them all on WNBA Live Access. On Wednesday, we have New York at Washington. Cappy Pondexter and the Liberty lead, head into Washington to take on Ivy Ladder and the Mystics. This game will be broadcast on the NBA TV at 7.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My preview is that the Liberty are looking to get out of their slump and fight their way back into the playoff picture. It'll be interesting to see how they start the second half of the season. With this much time off, these, both of these coaches have time to make the adjustments. Then on Thursday, you've got Indiana at Connecticut. Tamika Catchings leads the Fever into Connecticut to take on Tina Charles and the Sun. This game begins at 7 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. My preview is that the Fever were playing pretty well before the break. So it's hard to imagine them losing to the lowest seed in the East right now, especially since they've had a little bit extra time to get healthy and make those adjustments. And then you've got Phoenix at Seattle. Diana Taurasi leads the Mercury into Seattle to take on Tina Thompson and the Storm. This game begins at 10 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. And once again, a little extra time to get a little bit healthier. Uh, you could have time to make some of those adjustments in the game plan. I wouldn't be surprised if the Mercury were a little too much to handle. Then again, the Storm have always managed to find ways to win. Well, that's it for this week. Tune in on Friday for another all-new edition of WNBA Weekly. And until then, this has been the Fan Perspective. I'm your host, Nathan Lyle. I hope you enjoyed the weekend. I hope you had the chance to check out the All-Star game. Check out these games. The second half, it's going to be great.